welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Celeste. I'm a wife and entrepreneur, that's a lifepreneur. And I would encourage you to subscribe, like, click that notification bell so that you are notified of other videos I upload, typically on Saturday. But today is Friday, August 6th. I have to keep looking at the calendar. I can't believe August is already here. I'm not going to edit this video. I wanted to get this information out very quickly because I have mentored many people through the process of becoming an online ESL teacher. And as you can tell by the title of this video, Goodbye Go Go Kid. And I wanted to explain the reasons why that I am no longer working for Go Go Kid. So back in July, there were rumors, and I'm not going to edit this video. We're just going to get it out quickly, if I haven't already said that. <laughs> I am so sorry. I have been up way early in the morning. Different emotions are going on, and so I'm hoping that I'm thinking clearly today. But uh, back in July, we as ESL teachers had heard rumors that the Ministry of Education in China were going to make new regulations uh, concerning the online ESL companies residing in China, and specifically their market to Chinese students. So at that point, uh, what I my plan was that I was going to work as many hours as I possibly could for my two companies that are based in China, um, just to acquire as much money as I could in case the fall and the winter looked pretty bleak. We weren't sure as to the specifics of this regulation. Um, at the end of July, it was put into effect, and I'll try to link that uh, news report down below. You can read it for yourself. I'm not going to get into the particulars because I don't understand all that they're saying and how that affects every company within China. So uh, I still thought that we had until August 21st before that those guidelines were really re, you know, enforced. And so again, loading up myself working mornings, nights, weekends, Again, just preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. Well, August 4th came, and again, I had morning classes with GoGo Go Kid as well as my other companies, and evening classes. Everything went fine. And then August 5th, on Thursday, I woke up, like every other GoGo Go Kid teacher, to an email from GoGo Go Kid saying, effective immediately, we will not be offering any more classes to any of our Chinese clients. Um, I thought, well, okay, is this like immediate, immediate, or like immediate in the next week? <laughs> so I ran upstairs and saw one by one all of my classes for Thursday, the weekend, next week, and I had stacked my schedule full of classes. Just began disappearing one by one. It was immediate, immediate. And this was because of the regulations that were put in place in China. Um, it was very sad news because I've been working for GoGo Go Kid for two years. Love the company, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, which I'll link up here, why it's important. I'm going to reiterate why it's important to not have your eggs all in one basket. I am reading such sad stories on Facebook in the GoGo Go Kid teacher group where teachers worked full time for GoGo Go Kid and now they have nothing and these are parents of small children, and so my heart just breaks for them. So, again, I just want to encourage you, if you're an independent contractor, please do not put all of your eggs in one basket. I have learned that. <laughs> I am learning that. And I will continue to try to diversify my streams of income. So, there are no longer any teachers for GoGo Go Kid. Um, GoGo Go Kid did... Um, allow the teachers, if they chose, to write letters to their students. Because some of my students I had as trial students, converted them into students, and have had them ever since, the, you know, for two years. And several times a week. I've been to children's birthday parties, virtually. <laughs> I've been taken in the car and shown the countryside of China. I have attended uh, many a uh, family celebration. I have celebrated first days of kindergarten. Um, I have welcomed new babies <laughs> to the family when someone became a big brother or big sister. And uh, so I'm really, really grateful that they allowed us to do that. 
In addition, there's some teachers that put together a group on WeChat, which is a um, Chinese social app that we can communicate with our students. So we're trying to, they're trying to connect teachers with their students. And they're also opening one of the Facebook groups to um, our students so that parents and their teachers can get together and at least say goodbye officially um, rather than just through a letter. So I appreciate all that they have done to make that possible. I will say that Thursday a lot of tears were shed. <laughs> uh, I've done this video probably 30 times now trying to avoid the emotions uh, of it. And I really uh, wish GoGo -Go Kids uh, employees and their team the very best as they're relocating and having to find new positions um, in different companies. Now, many people have wondered, you know, other people have worked for other companies, um, which I no longer work for. And so one of those companies had sent out a letter saying they had gotten permission to work uh, with their clients until February of 2022. I'm not sure why some have and some haven't, or if that's really uh, the true story of what's going to be happening. I don't know. I don't know why cute kids is still being allowed. I know that according to the article, if they're listed as educational companies, they had to cease. I think cute kids is listed as a technology company, but I don't know how those particular regulations affect cute kids. So <clears throat> again, I ran upstairs and also clicked on every invitation that they were offering from Q Kids for classes this weekend, um, and we'll just see how that goes. In the meantime, I am looking for other streams of income because that really, not having GoGo -Go Kids really going to hit hard into our financial situation, and so we are looking at other streams of income that we can begin and hopefully begin soon. So I want to thank GoGo -Go Kid for an amazing two years. I have been stretched more um, through the trainings <clears throat> and through their leadership as a teacher and I'm very grateful for that. It's helped me become a better teacher and I truly wish them the very best. So goodbye, goodbye, go, go kids. See you next time. Happy teaching.